All right, so we are on the way to a like a local sort of food truck place where you can uh, buy different foods, obviously from food trucks. Okay, I guess that was self-explanatory why I said it the first time, um, but we're on the way there now. Um, our bed and our room is just a mess. We are actually leaving in a couple of days, so things are everywhere. We're trying to wash clothes, like sort things out, pack bags. It's, it's, a, it's a massive mess. I've got my Snorlax from Japan. And I have no idea why I got him or where he's going to live, but he's here and everything's just everywhere. So we're heading now to the food truck. We're going to talk to you along the way and welcome back to another day of vlog mess. Subscribe if you like the channel, like the video and we'll, pardon me, we'll get right into it. It's kind of like it's afternoon here. It's almost five o'clock and the food trucks start at five, but this camera doesn't do well when it gets dark. So I thought we'd go out a little bit earlier and this was the, that's the city right now. And you can have a look but yeah we'll get there super early i'm not sure if everyone will be set up but um i kind of have to film early otherwise you won't be able to see anything <laughs> all right well let's get going when we get back i have to work on some videos have to organize some shorts i have to get this stuff out for you guys because we're in vlogmas which means i'm bringing out a video every single day up until christmas and you guys have been loving it so leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've been enjoying seeing a video every day you ready to go Mm -hmm. You got some money, because they might not take card, I'm not sure. And you've got the room key? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Say hi to everyone today. Hello. That's Michael. Alright, you got, you got it all? Yeah. Um, Alright, let's just go. Yeah. That's, that's all my SD cards, please be careful. You just messed it okay, all up. Okay, let's go. We've been staying in this hotel, and a few of you have asked us where we're staying, but honestly, I probably wouldn't recommend it. These lifts... I'm going to come straight away now, and prove me wrong these lifts take forever to come it's just too full we booked this place because there's a gym and a pool and a conference room to work in and you just can't use any of the facilities because nah. it takes 20 minutes to get there michael went downstairs the other day in these lifts from moving com from coming out of our door to getting downstairs in the lobby took 27 minutes yeah i timed it yeah <laughs> it took me an hour and a half to walk 500 meters up the road and get a coffee and get back to the room <laughs> Ridiculous. The conference room is really cool. If you watched a few videos back, I was up there working. Um, but honestly, even trying to get a lift to go up there isn't worth it some days. So. And the problem is that everything about this place looks great on the surface, so you, it's really yeah. easy to get duped on. Also, there's like loud noises above us. There's like a, like a, like a yeah. laundry directly above us, and there's constant banging all day. Yeah, there is. We thought it was someone playing the drums, for example. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. And then it happened every day, and we are like, what? Here we go again. And this just zoomed past us and now coming back down for us, but... Yeah. I don't know. Alright. We'll be downstairs in about an hour. <laughs> and it also, because it's the 45th floor, it stops, and there's only four lifts, it stops at like every floor on the way down as well. This one was on 48 and then right. just went straight past us. Oh. So Michael's gone back up because we've got the batteries for the camera. So I'm just going to wait for him here. It's just quicker. Um, we're about to head to the food trucks. It's not that far away. Michael found like a back street that we can kind of get cut out a lot of the walking time, um, which is good because we need to get there as soon as possible so that it's still light. Um, last time we came to Kuala Lumpur, we actually ate here and it was pretty cool. Um, I, I remember there not being as many options that I liked as I remember, but it's a pretty cool place. So we're going to head there. It's just something that just happened that um, you guys are like my friends, you guys are like my family, you guys are like my diary, right? Like I kind of talk to you guys on this channel um, about everything um, and something just happened where I got warned for replying to someone um, as cyberbullying or harassment um, and it's kind of really, and I just got some comments deleted from my TikTok, but the abusive comment that was left towards me that I replied to is allowed to be written and allowed to stay on my platform. But I get a notification for cyberbullying for replying to abuse. Why are platforms allowing, like they tell us, right, to interact with our community, reply to our community. So we're told to reply, but when we're getting, a, when we get abused, like, we're not allowed to reply. And if we do, we get in trouble, not the people abusing us. 
Anyway, that's a it's a it's a big problem, and I'm not a fan of it. I don't think that because I make content, I'm required to take abuse, or I'm require I'm the one required to allow being abused. But they don't do anything about abusive comments. They do they do things about the reply. It's just something that I don't I don't believe in. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that that should happen. I don't like it. And it, it just happened to me like three times. That's why I'm like a little bit heated about it. Um, and I know that people say, just block, just block. I'm still being abused, whether I block the comment or not. That comment is allowed to be left, which means I get abuse. It's annoying. But anyway, I'm just um, gonna reply. Actually, this is funny, because I'm replying to you guys on the channel right here, and I'm making a video right here. So <laughs> that's some uh, behind the scenes action right here, isn't there? So someone said, um, someone said about uh, talking about my Japan and Korea videos and they were just giving an opinion on them and someone asked me about what to take in their backpack um, when if they're coming to Malaysia for five days which is cool so I'm just going to reply to her um, and she's asking that she's going to do some touristy thing but she's not here for long she's here on her first solo trip um, and she's asking if Malaysia is safe and it, it totally is safe. It's just Bukit Bintang is is like obviously one of the more touristy areas so you should probably just keep your wits about you um, but you're safe right? In my opinion um, there's still going to be pickpocketing I think in almost every tourist place that I can think of um, so just keep a little bit more wits about you but it's still fine for solo travel in my personal opinion. One more thing I um, had a small little silent goal to reach 10,000 subscribers on this channel before the end of the year and we're on when I when I started vlogmas and we're on seven uh, sorry we're on 9732 subscribers so we're pretty close which is awesome I love seeing that what a cool little community I've built on here I love I love this daily vlogging with you guys so it's gonna be weird when I don't have to vlog every day <laughs> I don't know maybe I'm a daily vlogger now tell me below <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to keep vlogging? It's a lot of work. I don't know if I can. I'm not promising anything, but it is it has been so fun. So Michael's I expected him to be here by now if I'm being honest with you. So oh, the lifts. Of course not. I'm a bit of hurry. He made it. Oh horrible experience. <laughs> so because we forgot something in our room. Yeah, I told him. Leaving the room and coming down takes like half an hour to yeah, get out of the room. It's, it's <laughs> So, lovely place once you're in it, but... Yeah. It's a beautiful be, room, but it's annoying. You don't want to be in a scenario when you're traveling where, like... It takes you, you half an hour to get down and out of your room. And you're demotivated to get out of your room, basically. Anyway, like I said, we're leaving in a couple of days. We've been here for, by the time we leave, in almost three weeks. Um, so, yeah, honestly, I'm kind of sad to be leaving Malaysia. I yeah. really like it. One thing that place does definitely have is the view you get out your window. Oh, you yeah. You appreciate KL as a city. It's awesome, but this um, place we're going isn't that far away. We just kind of have to go up a little bit. And then like I said, Michael found a like kind of cut, shortcut. Oh, a little cutie on the bike. Um, Michael found a little shortcut. Are we crossing or straight? No, Oh, okay. Um, so we don't have the walk hopefully as far as I thought, just simply because we're running out of time. So yeah, I told them we ate here last year or last time we were here. I can't remember when that was. I remember last time we were here that it was a cool vibe, but the selection wasn't very that's good. Not, that's literally what I said. Um, I said I can't remember like finding that much I actually wanted to eat. Yeah. Oh, bye. But <laughs> I have also read online since that let's go. Oh. That getting here at this time is better because you get a seat. Whereas last time we weren't getting a seat. Yeah, true. Um, because it was so busy. So hopefully it's already set up for us. Or at least the, most you can, things you can are. get there at opening time pretty easy for you to find a seat. Most people could have come around 7, 8 p.m. Yeah, which and we would do is, if I didn't have to. The reason is you'll see the view. It's better at night time, but we're not going at night time. No, I have things to do. I have to pack my bag and stuff. We've got to get ready for our big trip. We have to get ready to, for our big trip, which will be fun. So you guys are going to see that as well. So um, there's only a couple more videos for the last couple of days that we're here. And then you'll see us on the road again yeah. for Vlogmas. Oh yeah, true. We're going the shortcut. Michael didn't actually find a shortcut. <laughs> well, it was a shortcut. It was a dr drastic shortcut. Yeah, but, but it didn't work. 
Yeah, dude, it's, it's still it's still this street. I just thought that this was it at a glance, but it's not. It's further up. Oh, okay. But it's still this street. It's just an extra 300 meters. But if we hadn't if we hadn't done that shortcut, it would take 1.4k, and yeah. it took us about 600 meters. Right. Right. I see. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna miss KL. Look at all these like cool little greenery plants in the middle of a big city. I just really like it. It's a cool vibe. Where are the towers? Uh, behind there somewhere. Yeah, behind there somewhere. So yeah, like I said, like this place would look does look really cool at night. Last time we came, I think it was Medeca, wasn't it? And it was all yeah, it was all red, blue, all and and in cool colours. The the tower itself was lit up in in awesome colours for Medeca, which was which was great. Um, but you can't obviously see it as well if it's not lit up. So we're almost there now, which is good. Yeah, we're not far off. We're yeah. about 200 meters away. Cool. All right, so we made it here, and it's called the Food Truck Park. I don't think it's ready yet. It's definitely not ready yet. Oh, yeah, a little bit. That's the thing there. These are all the bean bikes. You can ride them around uh, Malaysia. You just need to like scan them with your phone and whatnot. But you need to return them to certain points and things okay. like that. Okay. Have a look. So, like we said, oh, in the, in the wet. Yeah, slipped down there really easy. So, like we said, like we came here and it was nighttime and it was so full that you couldn't stand or sit anywhere. And now this is this is the right time to come. Yeah, like, like not everything is open yet. Open, yeah. But coconuts open. They're open first orders. For a wonder. The mango master. So we got some coconut juice. Everything you can see. Be careful of that. Okay. Got coconuts. Um, mango monster for six ringa, which is what two dollars? Yeah, two dollars. Two dollars Australian biscoff. Oh, churros. Okay, so nothing Malaysian so far. <laughs> Pasta, uh, spaghetti, and burgers. Again, not Malaysian. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, me go me going? Yeah. Me, me going? Yeah. Chocolate towel. Chocolate towel, that's, yeah, cool, we've had that. A couple of cheesy fries and stuff. Nachos, ooh. I mean, I don't think you need to eat Malaysian food here. You can get no, that. you don't, I know. I don't, I don't know if I feel like it. We had, we had it, we have it a lot. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, I don't feel like that. But you've got spaghetti, pizza, mac and cheese. Some more drinks, boba tea, boba, I don't know how you meant to say it. And? The reason you would sit here, although it's not there, is it? It's not what I remember it being. No, I thought it was like right under the towers. Yeah, it's not. From my memory, what am I remembering? Then? I don't know. I think because it was lit up. This, this is the towers here. I think it looked, I don't know, closer than it, than it was. But yeah, the views is not as good as I remember. So we've got some. Looks like Aston Pettis. Pizza, Aspen more Pettis. burgers. It did a little bit. Some of it. Uh, Makes you feel like, sick thinking about it. I know, we got... But it's not fish people. Well, yeah. Not, not the quality, it tasted nice. We both don't really like fish, and Asam Pettis was the dish in Malacca to try, here in Malaysia, when we went to Malacca. And um, we got it, and we both don't like fish, so it was, it tasted nice to us, but we both are just not crazy about fish. So, yeah, the thought of it is like, oh, you know. It makes you feel a little unsettled. A little unwell, yeah. It's nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Nasi pakrapau. Nasi pakrapau. Sambal, nothing. Okay, so there's a couple. There's like one or two trucks with actual sort of Malaysian food, food well, I think, dishes. I think Malaysia is quite similar to Australia in the there's sense. There's so many different everyone things. Everyone just eats whatever you want. There's no like. There's Definitely. No, well, not unless you unless you post something Western on TikTok and they're like, "Why travel here to eat that?" And you're like, "Well, <laughs> everyone eats it. Yeah. It, you, it is. Everyone. I mean, I know this is, you know, one Very place, yeah. but still. What's this one? Smoothies, juice. It's like, guys, one of your national Coffee. meals is a burger. Yeah, <laughs> legit, <laughs> Ramly burger. I am, I am going, I am chicken, so chicken going. Sauté. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sorry, sorry. But I feel like... Takayaka. Oh, sorry, it's a running joke. We call it chakioki, because the first time Joseph I had it... We got it wrong the first time, and, <laughs> and it, it just stuck because we laughed about it. So every time we see it, even though I know it doesn't say that, I just think of it as that. It's actually takoyaki, right? But I call it takayoki. Takayoki, and someone in your comments the other day was like, 
you said it wrong, you said Takayaka. And we were like, no, we didn't say Takayaka. And they were like, yeah, but you got it wrong. And I was like, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, so do you. Is that, that, that what's it called, the Spider Man meme? Yeah. Where you're both there, like. Anyway, let's roll. Oh, this could be good. Hold on. Like Vietnamese rolls? Shrimp. Oh, I don't want shrimp or crab. Oh, hold on. Garlic chicken and sesame avocado. I think that's for me. I want something a bit light. Three pieces. 12 ringgit for three pieces is about four bucks. Four bucks? I think that's me, something light, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's, that's all there is. Shrimp, garlic, sesame avocado. Do you want, do you want? No, you're good? Okay. Hi. Yeah. Can I mix two or, or is there only one set of three? You can pick whatever you like from the set. <laughs> can I pick what, whichever one I like? Okay. And three is 12 ringgit. Okay. Can I please have two garlic chicken and one sesame avocado? Um, You're not open yet? No avocado? Uh, yeah, you don't have avocado? Okay. You do have. Oh, you do have. Ready, ready. What's wrong? Ready. Ah. Yes? I just want to order uh, two garlic chicken and uh, satu. Do, do I? Uh, satu. satu. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, garlic chicken, you need to wait like 10 minutes, uh, okay? Oh, that's okay. okay. That's fine. Yeah. Rebus uh, ayam, sekarang. Uh, mix 15 ringgit. 15, yeah. 15 ringgit. Okay. Sure. Dua ayam, satu. Thank you, Terima kasih. <laughs> I didn't feel like anything like heavy. Are you recording for YouTube? Yeah, oh, I have wow. YouTube. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> are you a YouTuber? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Australia, but uh, I travel... Which part of Australia? Sydney. Uh, Sydney. Yeah, Sydney. <laughs> You're from here in Malaysia? Yeah, I'm local. I like it. Oh. We come back four times now. We've come back. Oh, yeah, we love it here. Your first time? No, four. Fourth, fourth time. Fourth time really yeah, far. yeah. We love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> we'll just wait over here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Michael's run away. <laughs> I, don't, I don't love, like, I, I record my face. I, sometimes I watch these back and I'm like, why didn't I show them on the camera? But I also don't love just, like, shoving a camera in someone else's face, if that makes sense. Uh, Michael, where are you going? I'll come with you. Okay, Michael's gonna come back here and meet me here. So we're just gonna hang out for a second. <coughs> yeah, like I kind of assessed it. She was cool, um, but I don't just shove a camera in like everyone's face. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's nice. So I kind of always just, I'll either ask and it's off, and it's off camera and then I'll start recording again or like, I kind of get the vibe. Um, she was cool, but like, I also don't want to just like, I didn't feel like the other girls were, so I didn't want to shove anyone's face in my um, in my vlog, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is cool. It's a bit hot today. <laughs> it actually has been raining every single day we've been here in Malaysia, but um, it hasn't rained yet today, which tells me it's gonna rain in a little bit. So hopefully we can kind of do this and get out. Um, people are starting to come in now. So you have people sitting down and then people coming in to start looking around. When we came last time, every single one of this table was full, like full. Um, so, you know, depends on what you want. It is a vibe, it is a vibe when people are here, but also it's hard to get a seat and hard to like enjoy or relax or sit, if that makes sense. Look at the notes, by the way. I don't know about you, but I love money. Like, well, I love money, but <laughs> I mean, I love looking at money. Like, um, different countries, every single country we go to, we, Michael and I both put aside a small nomination, no, denomination? Small amount of money for a note aside for us to keep and then also a coin um usually just the lowest amount of coin and we both keep money from every place and this is malaysian ringgit so this is a five which is about a dollar fifty i think in australian usd that would be about a dollar i think let's see five ringgit oh i don't know what okay that was a random yeah dollar fifty nine australian um so pretty cool the lowest note we have in australia is five dollars which in ringgit that's 15 ringgit basically that's the lowest note that we have in australia but it's all bright color this one's green the other one's like 
orange and they're just really bright colors. I like Malaysian money. Um, and they've got two little hornbill looking birdies on there. Um, and yeah, I like it. This might be their national flower. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if you guys find this interesting. I find money interesting. I just really enjoy looking at money. <laughs> I don't know, maybe because I've never had any of it, <laughs> but I like it. I find it really, really cool. So what'd you get? Brisket plate. Oh, oh brisket. yum. You can share it with me then. I'll have a bite. Cause I don't think I can eat it all. I'm, I'm not, it's I'm five, not hungry it's either. It's five o'clock. I'm not yeah. hungry yet. <laughs> but like, if we don't eat now, we're going to get hungry like super late. I'm going to make a bad food choice. We always do that. Yeah. Make a good food choice like brisket. <laughs> Good point. Uh, Milo Ice? Yeah, they're good food choice, like Milo Ice. <laughs> uh, you get Stop some... it, I'm in Malaysia, I need Milo Ice. Peach Ice tea, you can get peach ice tea. Okay, sure. You weren't in Malaysia for very long and you like Milo. You don't get peach ice tea in the next place we're going either, really. You get I'd... peach ice tea in a lot of places. Not like this, though. I would like a peach ice tea. Well, you didn't get it. You yeah. want Milo? <laughs> no, I want a peach ice tea. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go get a Milo Ice. Uh, Satu Dua Chiga. Satu, Satu. Hi! Uh, you have Milo ice? Yes. Can I please have one Satu? And you have peach iced tea? Yes. And I'll have uh, one of them please as well, Satu. Uh, one, two, three, yes, one Milo ice and one peach iced tea. 30. 30, what's this? Oh, 30. Okay. Is that all right? <laughs> Thank you. Terima kasih. So I'm going to, oh, she said 13, not 30. Oh, the I'm so bad with numbers. All right, so this is what I was talking about. This one's blue. It's just really cool and it's smaller. It's smaller than the other one, but it's one ringgit, which is about 30 cents. Australian? No, I don't know, but I'll give this change back to Michael because I have nothing to hold the money with. Is one ringgit 30 cents? One ring get, yeah, about 30 cents. Yeah, cool. I just got money confused because I can't do maths. I wish I didn't go too early now because the satay guys open and I probably could have gone some chicken satay. Oh, there. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. I'll it have a brisket. It. It's been a while. It is. <laughs> she already has them ready. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. So, one, two, satu, dua. Thank you so much, Terima Kasi. Oh, that's massive. Look how big it is. Oh, you got your brisket. Okay. All right. That is a big, big, big Milo ice. Damn. I, <laughs> I'm probably not that hungry that I can have this much milk, if I'm being honest with you. But when in Malaysia, you must have Milo ice. Oh, that's a good one. Do me a favor. If you're tra if you're a traveler, if you're traveling, and you go to Thailand, Thailand does the best Milo ice. Find a little stall that does the drinks, and ask Milo yen. Okay, nung Milo yen ka, which means one Milo ice, please. All right. Malaysians is still good. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's just. Thailand is a little bit better. <laughs> I like Milo from Malaysia where they have like the Milo on the top, like a Milo dinosaur. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to finish this much milk. Your girl is full in the belly. Oh, that's good. Oh, there you are. Whoa. It's a nice piece of brisket. That is a fat piece of meat. Look at you with your potato and gravy and stuff. That looks good. How much, was, how much was that? 10 bucks. 10 bucks, so 30 ringgit? Uh, sorry, taking my thing out. 27 ringgit. Mm. Cool. But brisket is like not just getting a piece of like beef seed in the pan, it's like slow cooked it. Yeah, true. So it always costs a bit more. <coughs> Should have the pulled pork though, maybe. I don't know, brisket's nice. Actually, it wasn't pulled pork, it was pulled lamb. It was Malaysia. Oh, yeah, tr oh, true, yeah. We're also oh. sat in the only spot where you can't see the towers. Can't see the towers, yeah. Why do they do that? You sat here. Oh, it's because it was near my food. I don't know. Yeah. 
Oh, look at it fall apart. That's good brisket when it falls apart like that. Oh, yeah. wow, that's super yeah, soft. Yeah, we have to cut it. It's super soft. Oh, wow. oh. You like you want it? Some? You'll like it. Yeah, give me a bite. I'm so. I, I just went through about how much this is just too much milk for me to eat. Oh my goodness. Real good. Damn. Sort of I get little rice, food. rice, rice paper rolls. You can have as much of this as you want because I'm not super hungry. I know, neither. Mm, it's really delicious, that mm -hmm. one. Anyway, I had a little rant earlier about bullying comments. <laughs> Not really many on this channel, there's been a few. No, there's been a few, but mainly on my TikTok, my main channel. But I also want to say, I saw, I just want to chat for a second before I wait for my food. We just saw a few girls today just in like such inappropriate clothing for this type of, this country. Yeah. And, and it's just like, so just disrespectful. <laughs> if you're coming to Malaysia, please just don't wear a bra and small short shorts, okay? It's not that type of of country and if you're coming to somewhere i mean i know that my like speaking of i know that my pants are tight and that's not ideal but i'm wearing a massive shirt to compensate that for because the rest of my clothes are dirty so they're in the wash um so just be a little bit more respectful i know we're not all perfect i've tra definitely traveled to countries where i haven't always been on the ball but wearing a bra and short shorts is a choice in a country that you shouldn't I feel do like that it's in even inappropriate like in australia you just don't do that oh uh, it's not Huh? So many people wear that at home. Yeah, but you would look at them and go, you're in the shopping center, what are you doing? Mm, I feel like it's pretty normal at home, even though it shouldn't be. I yeah, feel like, I feel like so many people do it that it's, it is normal. I guess, I think Malaysia to me feels like a type of country where they don't want to tell you what to wear and what to do because there is a plenty of cultures. So you should be the one doing the hard work to make the people who live here feel comfortable. Yeah, definitely. That's what I'm trying to say. You shouldn't be walking through like an area in like that, the, some people we saw today. It's just like, because we don't do a lot of tourist stuff, so we don't run into a lot of tourists. Yeah. When we go to a tourist place, it's just like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? It doesn't help the reputation of tourists in general as well, because for every person that seems to, like, it only takes one person to not try hard to make everyone else look crap. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to tell you what, you don't want to tell others what to do. I, I don't just, want to tell someone else just, what to do. I just think that you should tell people if they're being distress, disrespectful. You know what I mean? Like, by this, we don't want to preach to people on, on YouTube. That's all the aim of this, to tell you, the viewer, what to do. It's more just our thoughts. Like, it sucks to see it because... Yeah. Just don't do it. It's like, what are you, what <laughs> we don't are you want to doing? tell people what to do. Just don't do it. No, but I mean, like, I wish. No, here's the best thing. I, I would hope that everyone, everyone who travels finds out what the local custom is and what the locals are like, happy with and follows that. It's like when you see tourists in Thailand riding around on motorbikes with their shirts off. Yeah, it's close. Not only is yeah. like, Thailand is not necessarily a place that, care, that the locals care too much about that, but it's a Buddhist country and Buddhist, Buddhism yes. comes with some forms of modesty. And also, they're worried about you being shirtless and falling off and hurting yourself and ruining, like scratching up your body and like, yeah. just make life easy for the people whose country you're inhabiting for that, for that period of time. Mm, yeah, I feel that. That should go both ways. I hope people when they come to Australia respect the way that, well. Which some people don't, <laughs> but you know, it's just a universal thing. I just, today it just rubbed me the wrong way when I see someone walking around in a bra in a country like Malaysia. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Anyway, my food's almost ready, I think. I got like two chicken and then one like that's like avocado or whatever. I just wanted something light and I'm just I'm thinking I cannot get through this. These two drinks were 13 ringgit. I thought she said 30 and I'm like, oh I don't have enough. Then I was also like ten dollars. I was like, that's a lot. We're really in tourist prices. It was 13. But it was yeah. 13. So 13 ringgit is about about um what's that, like four dollars? Mm -hmm. Three dollars fifty, four dollars. Mm -hmm. So two dollars each ish. There's absolutely no way I'm getting through all this milk. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, I can't get through that milk. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Like zoning off. This is great. Oh. I'm, I'm just enjoying this. I looked at him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I honestly thought I would be struggling to get through this, but nope, that's great. Got it. Thank you, Terima <laughs> All right, that looks good. It's full of carrot, I think. Let's roll it. Oh, I was going to tell them, um, Han, my yeah. video on this channel, literally the one that's going up today from yesterday, mm -hmm. is about to go up and I was going to title it. What should we title it? On the first channel? No, this one. On the second, this channel. Oh. It's going up in like 30 minutes. So this, if you're watching this, like will be like yesterday's video. Like, 
have breakfast with me? All right, I think we're gonna call it have breakfast with me. You don't overthink it. I don't, I'm not overthinking it. I'm just, it's something I had to do before the video got, went yeah. up. Um, so let me just quickly do that. Ooh, let's get that little bug out of there. A little bug. All Isn't right. This beautiful brisket. No, I don't want any. So that's, so I can, I'm just gonna show them this page. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like an arrow. So you can see what it looks like on my end. I've got all the previous videos and then this one that's going up literally in at six o'clock and it's 5.30. So you can kind of see- What the back end of the app looks like. The back end of what a cre creator side of the app looks like. And you can see that it has a locked link, which means it's not up yet, it's unlisted. And this world part means that everyone can see it. I don't know if that's um, clear, but that means it's public. And then you have the dollar sign, which means monetization is on. And then you have the thumbs up and you have the comments. So you can see how many comments and thumbs up each video has. So that's what it looks like for me. And I was just popping in a title. So you guys get a little bit of behind the scenes um, for that. And then you're going to see this one tomorrow. So let's have a look at my, my rolls and not the ones on my body. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right, we got- Cricket noises. <laughs> We've got Let's Roll It. My, my nose is so itchy right now. Um, let's have a squeeze. Oh, guys, I'm full. I can't even have any more milk. You can, are you gonna, no. I don't know what, nope. to, I don't know what to do about that. All right, so we have. Is there bins here or do you just, what do you do? Right behind you, huh? No, oh, are, are there bins here? There's bins there. <laughs> you record me. So you can see everything. So you've got. It's all like wrapped up in some plastic. And then, which part, which part do I eat? Oh, this part. Yeah, don't eat the plastic. Yeah, I almost just ate this whole thing. Um, and then you just got the rice. Okay. My camera just turned off. But it's really nice. It's very light. Really nice. Really nice. <laughs> it's very light. It's a very easy meal. Um, Michael's finished his brisket. I've got two more to go. Honestly, I'm probably gonna take them home with me. It's really early right now. And Michael and I are both that kind of still full from lunch. Tom. Well, you can we talk while you're doing? talking while I'm doing. <laughs> um, yeah, like I didn't. I, I thought my brisket was great, by the way. I mm. thought like I was. I was gonna. I was walking around thinking, what can I eat that I can like just get halfway through because I'm not that hungry. And I saw this and I thought a couple of slivers of you know I'll be okay. I didn't realize I was gonna get so much mash and coleslaw as well, but it was honestly so nice. Yeah. It was honestly so good. And then these, really good. I yeah. would say that they're like a really nice, like, I, I guess say, healthier. Well, Vietnam was like that, wasn't it? Like we, yeah. we found that Vietnam was the easiest place to eat yes, healthy, healthy food. But because like, sometimes you don't want to eat so much vegetables. Of course, yeah. So your only other option is like unhealthy food. Like, yeah. It's not like, yeah, but Vietnam was probably the easiest place to go if you wanted to find healthy food. Like, pretty much the worst, like thing you can eat, the worst thing you can eat is a bun, which is just a sandwich with four vegetables. Mm -hmm. So, and pate, though, I didn't know that, so beware. <laughs> and they taste delicious. It's liver. Sorry? Everyone has their own personal taste, and I don't want to eat liver. Oh, rain, we have to go. Okay, right. No, we have to go. We're gonna get pulled on walking home. What rain? I've got some on my arm. Look, it's right there. It's come off your drink. Look up. Yeah, it came off here, I think. <laughs> I, I swear it was rain. So we only have, I don't know, two more videos or something here in Malaysia. No, in KL. Oh, in Kuala Lumpur, <laughs> my bad. In uh, Kuala Lumpur uh, left. Um, we're only here for a couple more days and then you guys are gonna come with us and we're gonna start kind of traveling again, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, it, it's a, I don't know, like I said before, I don't know how I feel about leaving here. It's really, oh, I love these things. Why do you have such good street food, man? It's a restaurant. Well, it's on the street, yeah. but you know what I mean. <laughs> so we only have a couple more days here um, and we just want to pick up some white monsters, actually, to be honest, for the morning. So let's White coffee. See. Yeah, Michael's, Michael's coffee. It's really nice. My little. There isn't any. There is. Oh, yeah, there is. Are they bigger? No. No. We'll just get two. Just two, and we can fill up tomorrow if we yeah. need any more. 
Good. Is that everything? You can only get um, like a couple of cokes. Oh yeah, Michael's a Coke Zero fiend. I'm a coffee fiend. It's so. the worst because of our hotel, I like it stock up. Yeah, we don't like to leave because it takes so long to get down the lifts, as you know now. I'm picking a snack for later, what do you get? I'm not getting anything, I feel full and I, I don't know. Ah! Oh, okay. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> You're so weird. I have to tell you what just happened. I didn't get it on camera because uh, I'm, I'm holding too many things. Firstly, I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm generally a, I'm a bit of a cringer. Like I, I, I'm a bit socially awkward. I find, I find embarrassing things very embarrassing. I'm a bit of a cringer. And Josie is the most cringeworthy person to hang out with. I'm telling you. It's like changed my. It's been good. It's desensitized me to caring what people think so much. But over here. But at the same time, man, like some of the stuff is it, it blows me away. So I just walked up because we were in line, and he like gestured for me to give him the things to pay for, even though there was two people in front. And I I reached this with the dinner I just bought from the fruit truck. I reached out and like gave it to him and he was like, oh, that's not ours. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I screamed laughing because it was so funny. And then... It wasn't the accidentally hand handing him the food. It was the cackling for the next like 10 minutes about it. It was funny. I just confidently gave him my food. I was like, oh wait, that's my dinner. <laughs> that was funny. Um, what were we saying? We were saying that we are leaving Malaysia and there's um, something else that we wanted to say. Well, it was more about how like we're so... We came back here mid-year for your birthday. Um, not necessarily by choice. It was because you had a collaboration with a hotel um, for your birthday. And obviously like we wouldn't go somewhere that we didn't want to go to, but the decision was made for us when they reached out and said, hey, you want to come to our five-star hotel by the beach on the dates of your birthday. And I was like, free five-star hotel? But yes, I'm there. Specifically, <laughs> like we did, we did it for your birthday. Yeah. Um, we don't stay in them. With our own money, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, so we came back and we loved it. Um, and this time we chose to come back. But it's crazy because if we hadn't come back for that break for your birthday, we may not have come back to Malaysia anytime soon. Because you, when you went viral. Yeah, I got, I, went, I got I went viral on my TikTok in Malaysia um, for not liking a 100 plus drink. Michael takes forever to explain it, so I'm just going to say it really quick and succinctly. Um, <laughs> We had a TikTok. I had a TikTok go viral um, for not liking their drink. A hundred plus. TikTok. What, what do you mean? Like it went into it the news. Yeah, it, it went. On. It went on Malaysian news. It was just. It was a whole thing, and I didn't like the drink, and I got literal like death threats for not liking a yeah. hundred plus from Malaysians. Yeah. So we're like, stuff you guys. If you're like, you're like rude. <laughs> like you guys are mean. But the key part of that is that that all happened because the video was released after we'd left Malaysia. Yeah. So then we're both like, oh, everyone from Malaysians mean. We're not going to go back there. Yeah. And then we come back and we're like. Oh, that was just online. People, when we're here, People it's nice. Yeah, and, then, uh, and then since then, you've had a lot more online experience and it's not... Yeah, India was worse. <laughs> it's not necessarily... Well, honestly, every country in a way. Yeah, like, honestly, true. People, people who hang out in comment sections are... It's just the internet, I guess, then. Are like, you, you, you get a lot of positive comments. But, but like, I also get, honestly, probably more negative comments. No. No? So you just notice them more. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. It's been like five minutes, but um, yeah, we we like me back here, and we like talking to you guys. This is like my, this is one. This channel feels like my like video diary. It's really nice. You guys are like hanging out with me, like my friends would hang out with me. Not that I have any friends, but. <laughs> Do you get more, more, way more positive than negatives, but the negatives are really harsh and unjustified. Like yeah, that's not true. And a lot of it, unfortunately, comes down to the fact that you're a woman and. You look different to the places that you're in because a lot of the insults are just skin color, body shape, gender. Yeah, true. Every, that's all it is every time. Yeah. Like, it sucks. I feel like if I feel like me share me being like the same skin color as yourself, me being morbidly obese, and being a man, I would get less insults than you. Yeah. Which is tough. I, I do get a lot of comments. I mean, I just I went about. I went on about cyberbullying in the start of the video, so I'm gonna oh, like yeah, leave true, it. True, true. I'm gonna leave it here because I feel like it, it might. I mean, we're just talking to you. This is the thing. Well, we I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let yeah. me talk. So I had a lot of comment. I had well, not a lot of comments. I had a, one comment where some guy was like, "You complain too much," and it's like, I'm not gonna filter my thoughts or opinions yes. to make a good video 
what, what, what's deemed as a good video. That way I'm lying. That way, I mean, there's a lot of creators that will only tell you the good things and will only be positive and will only do all of this. And if you want that illusion, go watch them. Like, I'm real, I'm honest, I'm telling you the thoughts, I'm telling you the behind the scenes. I'm gonna be honest with you whether things are good or bad. And if you don't like that, if you're used to this cur curated, perfect world of travel, that isn't me, it's not my channel. Yeah. So you're not gonna enjoy it here. So go somewhere else. So yeah, that's it. That's it for, the, for, the, for this video. And I will see you um, in the next one, which is literally tomorrow. And then a few days after that, we're going to somewhere else we're on the we're on the move so subscribe like oh and i wanted to say really quick at the end because i was showing you like the back end of my channel if you have any questions about how youtube works or the back end of youtube or yeah. what it's like being creator leave them in the comments and i'll hang out in the comments with you and, and answer them so there you go see you in the next one bye bye